Let's talk about uh, Madame Amaka. I don't know if you know Amaka. Amaka is the woman, the Igbo woman in Canada, who was planning to eradicate the entire Yoruba and Bini nation. Yeah, if I may use the word nation or tribe to eradicate them from the surface of this earth in Canada. He say no, in time don't reach for people to start putting your tapia pia in their food. May they just buy, they go like that. That is exactly her statement. Amakao, that's her face. She is between, she is between 40 to 50 years. She's not, she, ha she hasn't crossed 50 years yet. Guess what? Amaka has been arrested. After the house of rape, wrote a petition to the Canadian Embassy in Nigeria. Um, meanwhile, the Canadian Embassy immediately moved to Ashan and uh, informed the Canadian authority and the Canadian authority immediately swift to actions and immediately got Amaka arrested. So currently, Amaka is no longer a threat. We do not know what we are put to Amaka. We do not know. But what we know is that Amaka has compromised notable Igbo people here. Amaka has compromised somebody like Peter Obi. Yes, so. Amaka has compromised so many other Igbo people that are refusing or that haven't even had about this issue or they are just trying to analyze this issue before responding. Amaka has compromised them. Nobody is focusing on Amaka again. They are not focusing on someone like Peter Obi. Putting all the blame, political opponents are now using the opportunity now to tarnish Peter Obi's image, to make him look like he's incompetent. He doesn't have the general love of Nigeria in, in his heart. That is what politicians do. Amaka, you have compromised your brother. Amaka, you think it was only Igbo people that voted for Peter Obi. Now you have compromised him. You have put him in a really difficult situation that makes political morgans now to come after Peter Obi. It is no longer your battle now. You have caused the havoc, including those of you on that, uh, on that uh, page. Well, who knows? Maybe they do not regard themselves as Nigeria, or maybe they do not even support Peter Obi himself. But then again, the name Igbo woman is already there on, on, on her head. So as long as she's an Igbo, that means automatically she's Peter Obi's sister. I mean, while you might even check his, her history, you, might, you will even see that she doesn't even like anything Peter Obi. But then again, Igbo woman, that is how one bad egg can ruin an entire crate egg. An entire crate of eggs, one bad egg can ruin it. They don't even check about the credibility of Peter Obi again. Now they are looking at Amaka to check the credibility. And meanwhile, Amaka already arrested, and of course, those people who are on that group will also be found and arrested as well. Because they still have some kind of uh, punishment. Check out this uh, ass of rape. His Excellency James uh, Chris Off. And guess what? The chief, uh, the House of Rep uh, uh, man, the head, is an evil man. But nobody is talking about that now. He said, Petition against a marker patient. Some beg for incitement to genocide and aid speech against Yoruba and a do ethnic group. Your Excellency, on behalf of the Nigeria Canada Parliamentary Friendship Group and the House of Committee on Diaspora Matter, we are writing to express our deep concern regarding the action of Mrs. Am Amaka Patient, a Nigeria citizen residing in Canada. Mr. Amaka has recently been recorded making inflammatory statement that incite violence against the Yoruba and Edo ethnic group in Nigeria including advocating for the poisoning of food and water supplies to achieve their mass genocide. Yes. There are so much more they wrote, but I'm just, I just read that. I, she's also absolutely right. Now, nobody is thinking about the nastiest comment 
all those other ethnic groups have made before. Because we have seen politicians make some unruly statements, make some inflammatory statements concerning Nigeria. But nobody talk about them now. Nobody said, Namaka, and you know, when your tribe talk, Nawala for Nigeria. That's why they say, wait till Ibu do Nigeria. Now you don't even make the matter rise more. Hmm? There is a way to talk. But you know who talks, they make their people. They don't talk. All those who are now, you need to go do for the north. They go use Awusa, translate, uh, Awusa language translator to them. Your video will be as a point of, uh, of campaign against Peter Obi. Don't say Peter Obi no talk for the matter. In fact, it has already started. It has already started. Someone like Reno Mokere has already started pushing that narrative already. Look at what he said. He said, if someone from the north or southwest called for the mass poisoning of Igbo people, Peter Obi would have released a lengthy statement in two seconds. But 48 hours after a market patient made this threat of mass poisoning of people Yoruba and Edo origin, Peter Obi has uh, characteristically chop and clean out. <laughs> if it happens to Igbo land, Peter Obi will chop and clean out. But if it occurs in the north and southwest, he will get a megaphone and dance naked in the street. Nigeria, am, am I lying? We know more Korea have started a propaganda. And just go and check Twitter. You will see what is currently going on there. This guy said, I am beyond uh, furious right now, to be honest. Almost 24 hours have passed since that uh, lady went on TikTok Live in Canada and called for Yoruba and people to be okay in Canada and Nigeria. And what have we had from so-called Igbo leaders? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. The silent is, def is defending and is making my blood boil. Peter Obi, Obi uh, Z, Wisiki, Wisili, Cha uh, Charlie, and that one, uh, Abaribi, where the hell are you fools? You were all quick to jump on the God's uh, pendia when they said Igbo must go, calling for his arrest and dragging him through every possible mud pit. But now, when one of our own is calling for outright, you suddenly lose your voice. Are you kidding me? What kind of twisted double standard is this? Peter Obi, you paraded yourself as the up, up, opitimo, sorry, opitome of unity and fairness. But where is the unity in your silence? You haven't, why haven't you condemned this hat? Are you only a leader when it's convenient for you? Or do you only speak up when it aligns with your political ambition? I'm sick of this selective leadership. So much more. So much other comments. Peter B is being compromised. And this woman, eh, eh, the voice will be translated in Igbo, translated in Yoruba, translated in so many languages, cut across Nigeria, and shared to people. That's here. Now, then, now what did they want to be that? Oh? If you like more than vote Peter B. This is exactly how politicians do. Who are reason now? So now, Peter Obi is in a very difficult position. Hmm? So now, will he talk or will he not talk? It's like 48 hours now. It's going to like 50 something hours. Will Peter Obi talk or will he keep quiet? Because if he keep quiet for this matter, ah, <laughs> they will use him against him more because I don't see the reason why he will keep quiet. He need to talk. Because he has already made himself available to make speech on every situation in Nigeria. So, since you have already made yourself like that, you have to keep talking and keep talking and keep talking. Because if Peter Obi do not respond to such things before, similar 
about national issue, nobody will drag Peter Obi to talk. But he always responds to every issue. That is why there is a need for him to also respond to this. If he no respond, they will say, hey, will they respond to other issues, Abi? But this one, no one respond. And meanwhile, let me just make this public appeal. The Igbo woman Amaka hmm, has been a Amaka patient, has been uh, arrested, and then the House of Rep have signed a petition against her. So I think uh, that is enough. Maybe that we must let us see what will happen. But then again, we know those people who are making so statement, the person who made the last statement is an Igbo man. As of rep, uh, head of as of prep is an Igbo man. And the house factory do not support Amaka. There are few Igbo people. The same way we have some few Yoruba who do not like others. We have seen some few Awusa who do not like others as well. So, but we, should, we shouldn't allow one bad egg eh, to remove the love that we have for each other. We need to sit stand strong with each other. Eh? Of, unfortunately, Every human being has their own mind on their own. Your own mind, being that you are an adult person, me and be an adult person, your own mind cannot dictate for my own mind on what to think. No. So please, eh? Let us forget about the old matter. Let's forget about the old matter. But let's take it seriously though. Amaka must pay. But then, Igbos must not pay. That's what I'm saying. Amaka and those people there on that on that TikTok must pay, but Igbo must not pay. The same way Yoruba, some some people from Yoruba we are making some crazy talk, eh? They will pay, but Yoruba will not pay. The same thing with Awusa. That person is making that stupid statement. We pay, but Awusas will not pay. The the ethnic group is the ethnic group. Individual there. We have to face justice for their utterances. So, that should be my last statement. Amaka has been arrested. Thank you very much for watching. It's your boy, Adam's Link. Catch you next time.